you can understand things with your own eyes because it's all exposed for you. Um, and you have recourse to influence how it works. So we think openness is important and actually a part of this notion of privacy, because if you don't like how it is out of the box, you can change it. On the privacy side of things, we take this very seriously. So we don't technically record any of the rich media that's captured by our devices. So the optical sensor on the device will capture an image, the microphones will capture a stream of audio, and then as soon as we send it off device, an AI model does inference over that rich media, over the images and the audio, and then we throw it away. We throw the original source media away. None of that audio or none of the images are stored indiscriminately at all, in fact, on our server or anywhere else. We throw it away. And instead, the AI is doing inference and generating a string of numbers called embeddings. So it's a bunch of zeros and ones and, you know, sort of an incomprehensible string of numbers that are only decodable um, by an AI model when you ask about your memories. So um, we, we've carefully designed this such that, number one, we're not holding on to any of your rich media. We don't want to. We think that there's, you know, there, there's just a lot of, in our opinion, privacy concern around that, given the state of the world and, and just sort of, you know, where the industry is at. But number two, um, uh, it means that our servers are a lot lighter, um, but we can still accomplish the task of, you know, being able to recall your memories. Uh, we don't need to hold on to your life's worth of images and audio. But number three, more importantly, if ever a server is hacked, and, you know, in the news daily, we see this happen, it's not your life's images and audio leaking out to some hacker. Um, you know, God forbid, that'd be terrible. And so we, we thought about, all of these scenarios and we said you know what better for us not to store any of this stuff 